you're on this web page, it means that you have an interest and then click submit to learn more about the MGH certification program that I offer. I want to explain a, a little bit about some of the things that you learn in the MGH certification program and also why I believe my program is different and superior to other hypnotists in the area. First of all, in a general sense, you're going to learn how the model of the mind works. You're going to learn how to set up your office. You're going to learn how to dispel myths of hypnosis, which is a big one. Uh, clients coming into your office um, have a lot of strange beliefs about hypnosis, things that maybe they picked up from movies or TV or books, that kind of thing. You're going to learn ethical considerations of hypnosis, how to use hypnosis ethically, things you can do with it, things you can't do with it, things that are not recommended, things that are safe and unsafe, all kinds of things in terms of ethics. You're going to learn uh, my session structure, how I like to work with my, with, my, with my programs, how I like to structure each individual session with people. You're going to learn how to bypass a person's self-limiting beliefs, because people will come in to your office, some of them believing that they simply cannot change. And you can be learning some very simple techniques to get them to a frame of mind where they are more receptive to the idea of not only changing their beliefs, but also the fact that how hypnosis can actually help them change their beliefs too. And I want to stress too that this program is designed uh, not only as a beginner's program, but also as an intermediate program for reasons I will get into right now. A lot of uh, uh, certification programs, including other MGH professionals, when they certify people, they don't teach them verifiable hypnosis. And what I mean by that is a lot of hypnotists learn that relaxation is hypnosis. They learn what's called a progressive muscle relaxation induction. And if you don't know, the induction is the procedure which, which we guide somebody into the hypnotic state. So they believe that relaxation is hypnosis. They'll do what's called a progressive muscle relaxation. And I'm paraphrasing here, but they'll have the client close their eyes and say, relax your feet, relax your legs, relax your chest, relax your arms, relax your neck, relax your head. Now you're hypnotized. No, you're not. You're really relaxed. This drives me crazy that this is still taught. So when I teach hypnosis, I teach several different induction techniques so that if you've got somebody who's a true believer, you've got a verifiable hypnotic technique for them. If there's somebody who's a skeptic or if they're highly analytical, you've got hypnotic techniques for them. You've got rapid style of inductions you'll learn. You've got demonstrational hypnosis techniques you'll learn to get somebody in hypnotic trance very easily, very quickly. And when I say you're verifiable, I mean that literally. You'll understand what level of hypnosis they're at, if they're in a light level, light level, medium level, or deep level of trance, how to emerge somebody from hypnosis in case they get stuck in hypnosis. And the truth is, nobody gets stuck in hypnosis, but somebody can sometimes go down so deeply that maybe they don't feel like coming out of hypnosis. You learn how to do that with my, with my protocol as well. And the reason why it is so necessary to learn verifiable hypnotic techniques is because when people become hypnotized, they don't know they're hypnotized. And this is something that happens every day in people's everyday lives. They go into what's called a trance state or, or into an altered state. So they come into your office and if they don't, if they don't have any previous experience with hypnosis, they may think that being hypnotized means being asleep or may, maybe being deeply relaxed or maybe they zone out, they don't hear you, none of which is true. So when I teach hypnosis, I teach you ways that not only can you verify with where they're at, hypnotically speaking, in terms of depth, as I already said, but ways that you can let the client know they're actually hypnotized as well. They're called convincers. You learn a whole bunch of strategies in order the clients can know they're actually hypnotized. And this is a godsend because the client knows they're hypnotized, they're more um, invested in the process. They, they, they believe, and that's highly important. Um, you're going to learn how to help people work with uh, smoking cessation. You're going to learn my entire stop smoking protocol. You're going to learn how to work with people for weight loss, uh, sports enhancement, fear, stress, and so much more. You're going to learn how to set up your office. You're going to learn all kinds of things. It is a, a, a fun program. I keep it fun. I keep it, uh, uh, I keep it uh, lighthearted. I joke around a lot. Um, we bring people in, some of my past clients, and some of my past students so that you can work with them and uh, use them as, as live fire exercises, so to speak. In other words, people you can actually hypnotize in class so you'll have the skills and the confidence leaving the training to, to know that you can actually hypnotize people quickly and easily. So if you want to get more information, more details about the training, I do encourage you to fill up the, the, the form right below this particular video that's playing, fill up the form completely 
You'll have information about the training emailed to you instantly, along with prices and all kinds of other information. I do look forward to working with you. Learning hypnosis, it will literally change how you see the world around you. It will change how you see the world around you. So I look forward to hearing from you soon. Again, my name is Chris Johnson from Niagara Falls Hypnosis Center. Take care. Talk to you soon.